This manga story involves love, flying cows, horny aliens, and some of the best dialogue I've ever seen. This is Dawn to Dawn in a nutshell. All right, so the first word Momo says is, huh? like I said, if you ain't gonna lend me the money, then today's date's off. Although, if you're reasonable and put out instead, that is cool too. The love hotel's on you though. And Momo's not gonna go like that. She's like, take this, take my punches. And this guy's like, boom, just kicks her in the chest. And here's where her friends pop up. And she's like, that's hilarious, girl. Told you not to get involved with that guy. Can you even name one good thing about him? He looked like Ken Takakura. And they're like, oh my God. I like hard boiled tough guys like Ken Takakura. And then we got this man saying, I am an awkward fellow after all. All right, so right now Momo's heartbroken, bro. She's walking down the hallway, you know, she's like, somebody please counsel me. And then she hits a little Annie quote. It's a hard not life. And then we zoom in to see this guy getting hard bullied. And then that's when they decide to put a magnet in the joint. And bro, I, I've never seen anyone do this in real life, bro. Like this is some next level toxicity. All right, so here's where Momo's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. You throwing that at my boyfriend? And she takes a glare at them. So here's where Momo says, what you reading here? Bro, after she says those words, these guys instantly turn around. And as soon as they turn away, that's when Momo walks off like a shonen protagonist. She is a shonen protagonist, in fact. And that's when dude's like, oh, damn. She touched my book. She must love me. And that's when Momo's walking down the halls, all hella stressed. And that's when he's like, Momo, I'm trying to get you to taste my Momo. It's like, nah, when he pulls up, he's like, I know what you into. She's like, ah. <laughs> and so bro repeats himself. I know what you into. And that's when bro starts geeking out, you know, <laughs> and that's when Momo starts to, you know, give him the side eye. She's like, what the hell? In her head, she's like, damn, this is why you never should be nice to nice guys. And here's where little bro shows the book. <laughs> And hey, I'm not gonna lie, some of this stuff is actually kind of true. I truly believe Obama has been to Mars, bro. And uh, Project Pegasus, I don't even know what the frick that is. By the way, this is just a subtle reminder that mangas read right to left. Just in case anyone's wondering what's going on, what's the relationship between the Illuminati and the reptilians? Oh my god, what the frick? Look at that man. This is when bro's like, you're interested in the paranormal, aren't you? Yeah, so right here, he's trying to get her to believe in aliens, you know, and she is not buying it. Bro's not talking about you. He's not UFOs. He's talking about unidentified aerial phenomenon, you know? And he just starts popping off, bro. He just starts popping off. And bro, they're they're low-key right, bro. Did you guys see the freaking Chinese balloon? Bro, that joint was probably carrying a little freaking... It's probably carrying freaking colossal tie-in on there. We don't know. I'm glad they shot it down. All right, so Momo just fed up now. She is hella fed up. And she ends off her rant with, this is why you don't have any friends. That is wild to say after just helping someone fight off bullies. But I do have one question though here what is a nessie i think it's the lock this monster but i'm at to see nah i freaking knew it oh my oh they have real pictures <laughs> bro this joint look fake as hell look at that <laughs> look at that that's a rock it's a rock okay wait is it i don't even freaking know. yeah that's <laughs> that's definitely a rock <laughs> but this joint is oh damn Oh, I think this is real. So I know it's not big enough. The Loch Ness Monster would be like at least as big as my dick. <laughs> All right. Anyways, here's the next page. And damn, even his book on the floor, bro. That's this is even worse than getting bullied. Yeah, she turns back and she's like, sorry, I went too far. So here she tries to make it better. She's like, I don't believe in aliens, but I do believe in spirits. And <laughs> That's when bro starts to diss her. <laughs> I went along with your nonsense and you have the nerve to just shut me down? Please do not belittle the paranormal. Let me tell you something. My grandma's a spirit medium. And here we got Momo freaking spazzing out, bro. And as you can see, they're doing a, you know, a little bit of bonding. Have you ever had an alien offer you a ride and it's UFO? Your arguments are all over the place. Don't be an idiot. That's when their two friends walk down and are like, what the hell? And here's where they just challenge each other. They're like, let's make it a challenge then. If I can prove spirits are real, then he has to be my personal servant aka slave that's when he's like fine i'll show you some ufos i mean ufas and then when you finally see one then i'll make you my slave now in a medical hospital bro or actually just momo is <laughs> and momo's already spazzing out bro he is not with the smoke if you call for a ufo from the roof you'll definitely be abducted he's like what does that even mean it means you'll get kidnapped by aliens and they'll use you for human experimentation yikes bro oh man little bro has arrived at the haunt 
haunted location. Now then, shall I prove to you once and for all that there is no such thing as spirits? And so bro just walks down there. Freaking Chris walks. He freaking crit walks down there, bro. Hey, you aren't actually scared, are you? By the way, you're guaranteed to see some down there. It's famous on the net. Yikes. And bro just starts freaking spazzing out. They say a loud voice is the most dangerous thing of all on the net. Wait, why do you keep saying on the net? Have you seen a spirit, Miss Isaac? Nope. What? It's not bizarre. I told you my grandma's a spirit medium, and we've always been, like, real close, because I've got no parents. Whenever I used to go outside, I'd have to swear to do a certain ritual for good luck, and my grandma made me do it all the way to school, and then they just do the L dance at me. Oh my god, they just took the L on me. And worst of all, though, was when the boy I liked made fun of me. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Damn. He, he took a huge freaking L on her. What the freak? He did it while running. <laughs> I just I just imagine him freaking swerving back and forth <laughs> as he runs off into the distance. Yeah, so she says, I really hated my grandma for that. Because of that ritual, the boy like hates me now. That's what I thought. And I said some terrible things to my own grandma. Damn. And then what she realizes is what I really hated was that the boy I liked made fun of my grandma. Damn. This is so sad, bro. The, her grandma's dead. It's like, not. Nah. <laughs> it doesn't say that. The fact that she has no eyes here feels like she's dead. And so we just get this beautiful scene where she's like, I love my grandma. She believes in me. And she's like, that's why I believe in spirits. And Lil Bro is astonished by this. And that's when she asks, so why do you believe in aliens? <laughs> <laughs> and bro, and bro does not have a reason like that, bro. You talk fast when you're on the phone. Did you know that a cult con? Really? I do? I guess you're easy to talk to, Miss ISA. Exclamation mark. Oh, man. What the heck? All right. So right here, she says, let me suck them. <laughs> bro, I, I, I don't even want to say it out loud. I'll let you suck on my teeth if you let me scobble that slong. And bro just freaking... <laughs> Why is there a G? Whatever you do, don't run. <laughs> and bro just instantly freaking runs, bro. He's not trying to get probed. And Momo's like, bro, it's just an old lady. It's just an old lady. Why are you running from an old lady? And that's when Momo says, do not let her overtake you, no matter what. And that's when she comes stooming, bro. <laughs> and look at this Gary ass panel, bro. It looks terrifying. And bro just starts screaming, screaming for his life. Momo's like, bro, what happened? What happened? We had a thing going on don't leave me she's like no this can't be happening i'm on my way just hang on don't let her gobble that slump don't give it up and that's when she sees three white men just standing in unison she's like bro what the freak i ain't signed up for this today and yeah so momo just starts running out of there as soon as they take a step but bro they are a hell of fast dog they just run up on her and capture her brought her to their lair he's like what the hell what in tarnation hello to you woman person Gah, jeepers creepers what are you doing here we are serpians we are called that because we come from the planet serpio she's like you're aliens what the hell please do not be afraid we are friendly people momo speaking facts <laughs> <laughs> then bro says your things are being handled with care and they're all just freaking ripped up on the ground and that's when the robot's like our species only has males we're just like china therefore we increase our numbers through cloning oh my god what the freak looking like the chinese army over there and they're like since we've cloned down so much we've lost all emotions in order for us to reacquire reproductive functions we wish to have your kinds banana organs like say what what the freak and then yeah and yeah as soon as she sees that she's like yeah i'm getting the hell out of here aliens are wild as hell all right so as she's struggling that's when we hear ring 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 and as you can see it's a cult coon and that's when bro pops up out of the phone out the cut bro and it is not a cult coon bro it's freaking turbo granny coming out the cut and as we can see <gasps> A gold gun has been cursed, bro. Look at him. He's spazzing out. Spazzing out, bro. He cannot control himself. And then we just get this highly quotable line from Turbo Granny. Let me gobble her so long. Freaking second time she said this, bro. And so now, bro, things are starting to get crazy. I don't even know what the freak's going on, bro. He's like, you better leave. Oh my god. This is what he turns into. He says some, if you don't leave, we will take your banana organ. And then Momo says, ew. I don't know why she's shocked. They literally just say the same 
same thing to her. Oh yeah, now they try to freaking tag her. That's when bro freaking runs up on the walls and just freaking, oh my God, just freaking bites him and boom, kills him. And that's when we see the Serpio form survey method and just blast Oak Run into the wall. And we, as you can see, that joint freaking hurt. And this is when the guy's like, we've never encountered such a physically aggressive person. Come on, man. We established friendly relationships with humankind. So please give us your banana organs. You're being mean. And honestly, I kind of feel bad for him. Damn. And this is when Occult Coon hits us with a hard line, bro. He's like, bro, you can have my organs. All my life, I wanted to meet aliens. I don't have any friends. So if I thought that aliens existed, maybe they'd be friends with me. Ever since elementary school, I've looked to the skies and asked for UFOs to come and probe me. But they never did. No matter how much I called for them. Damn. He got bullied and then the aliens ignored him as well. But Miss Ice actually stood up for me. So don't you land a hand on her. He's getting serious, bro. I can tell it in his voice. And yeah, bro is about to get serious. Look at him. He's really getting serious. She's like, you can do it, a cult cunt. Show him what you're made of. Sends kisses. Boom, he gets shot down again. And instantly, bro's like, Miss I say, I don't think I can do this after all. And I can't blame him, bro. You got freaking hit really hard. A barbaric person such as yourself will not do for a friend. What's more, we prefer <laughs> we prefer woman persons to male persons. And now we get a flashback. And she's like, Grandma, I don't want to do this anymore. My friends keep making fun of me. And then her grandma basically makes her do it. And then in front of their face, boom. They just make fun of her. And Momo's like, I can't handle this no more. I'm out of here, Grandma. I hate you, you phony spirit medium. And she's like, yo, why am I remembering this right now? I'm so sorry, Grandma. I was just embarrassed back then. That's all. And that's when she remembers what her grandma told her. Focus your energy below your belly. Then visualize your chi. You already know. She's about to awaken. Boom. Full panel shot. And she's like, no way, bro. <laughs> And that's when things started getting crazy, bro. A cool cunt's like, what the hell, bro? And the alien's like, what? He's too powerful. I can't compute. And here's where Momo's like, my grandma was telling the truth all along. Oh my gosh. She's like, thank you, grandma. I can now send these scumbags flying into next year. Boom. Kicks him in the balls and sends him flying. Look at this beautiful panel. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn. She kicked him out the freaking UFO. <laughs> And even she's surprised. She's like, hold up. What the freak, bro? And she's like, a cult cunt. Are you okay? We got to get out of here. And then boom. She just freaking gets bit. She's like, what the hell are you doing, bro? And this is when Momo hits him with the freaking Kai Blast or whatever. Boom. And just knocks out Turbo Granny out of his body. Then she's like, Turbo Granny? And then Turbo Granny calls her a freaking worm. The curse still isn't lifted, even though Granny has left his body. I have a slung now. As long as I have a slung, the curse is on the youngster will remain in place which is wild <laughs> bro look at, look at a cold gun in the back bro if you want a slung back come back to the tunnel this place is too far away from me at the tunnel i will take on as much as you care to give you garnish little beep all right so right here she's like who are you calling a little garnish bitch give him back his stingy and she's like ah Bro, we got to get out of here while we're dead meat. Pull it together. We got to run for it. And dude's like, <laughs> yeah. And then boom, that joint just freaking blows up. And right here, she's like, ha. Ah. That was the worst. Well, I definitely believe in aliens now. Yeah, I definitely believe in spirits. And she's like, what do we do now? And yeah, right now they're just basically chilling, you know? All right, so right here, a cold con is like, I'll go handle Turbo Granny by myself. But Momo does not let him. And this is when the dude says Momo's favorite line. I am an awkward fellow after all. And she's like, huh? And if you don't remember where that line is from, this guy named Ken Takakura was like, I am an awkward fellow after all. All right, so Okun's like, hey, Please put these on. Nobody want to see that stanky boot. And that's when we hear, ba dump ba dump What the? Why is my heart racing? No, it's not like that. ba dump ba dump I can't be in love with him. ba dump ba dump Ah, calm down. You know, now that I think about it, what's your name again? And that's when he says his name is Ken Takakura. He's like, what the hell? And she's like, no way. I refuse to accept that. And he's like, what? That's my name. Come on. That's my name. And she's like, eek. Stop it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and then that's when freaking Turbo Granny lets out her famous line. Let me gobble your salon. And that's when Momo says, yeah. <laughs> 
got him doing a freaking Nazi pose. What the? We need to set some ground rules. Your name is off limits. And as we can already see, guys, bro, she's already blushing, man. And yeah, so she gives him a nickname. She calls him Okarun. If you use that name again, I'll kill you myself. And then I'll take my life next because I love you. And dude's like, well, so be it. I can live with it. And oh, man, bro's probably blushing or something behind his face right there. I am very against it. Then show me your face. You look so happy about it. Okaron. Oh, I wanted to start saying all the freaking sounds. <sighs> Rank. Wait, what? I can't believe you farted right. Wh what? <laughs> <laughs> what all right so here's where mom was like hang on a sec it's morning already turbo granny won't come out now will she huh is that true ghosts and goblins come out at night why not come over to my place until tonight <laughs> so now we at her house and bro look at this joint looks epic <laughs> all right so as soon as he walks in he just gets freaking let up on fire and bro's like yeah and so she just dunks him into the freaking water i'm so sorry oka kun <laughs> <laughs> and damn bro has the whole afro now and so basically there's a protected barrier and she's like it'll be fine if i just take it down for a minute right those are the famous last words of momo she's like okay you can come through now are you really sure it's okay it's fine if you catch on fire again i'll just toss you back into the river <laughs> it's so bros is petrified man all right so as soon as momo's in the door she's like grandma what the heck she not in here where are you at oh well it don't matter come on in just wait out there i'm gonna go change so close the door he's like oh man fine <laughs> and as soon as he closes the door to real great he comes back he's like miss ice gate the curse the curse he looks freaking hilarious here bro he looks so tiny <laughs> he got them freaking tiny deku arms so right here she hands him some clothes and so as she hands him some clothes she's like actually now that i think about it you don't have your you know what thing anymore do you <laughs> he's like my what you call it little what the freak hey show me your junk <laughs> <laughs> wait a second so bro did not notice what the freak all right so here they start slightly fighting they're like you're the one who made it into a contest she says huh i wasn't interested in your paranormal baloney in the first place you're the one who was talking mad crap looking for a fight i didn't want to let the opportunity slip away i've always wanted a friend and i was thinking i didn't want to lose risking this chance that's why i was so desperate to talk to you but i should have known you live in a different world than I do, and you're not so an a person like me should be trying to talk to. And she says, the reason why you don't have any friends is because you dissent yourself. Don't go saying I should ignore you. Let's talk about some paranormal stuff like we usually do. And damn, bro, she's being so kind. He's like, let me fix my glasses. Hey, say something. Poke, poke. You skank. Huh? Would you just call me, damn it? You have no sense of tact, Miss Isaac. You're blunt about people's shortcomings. What the heck does tact mean? Ding dong. Could that be your grandma? Shh, keep your voice down. I've never heard that door chime before. What does that mean? My grandma told me before that we have two door chimes. One for humans and the other for evil spirits. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. There's something out there. And so they start running out of there. They're going to go try to place back this thingy from earlier back on. Whoa, this is scaring me, bro. Right here, Momo's like, huh? And as soon as they turn around, everything's just black. And they're like, oh, man, oh, man. We got to get out of here. And then, so now they just start randomly bleeding. They're slowly starting to panic. And this is when this big old body man comes up. Think some, I found you. <laughs> Bro, you're the size of the house. How did you not already find them? You two are bad people. You broke your promise. Hand over your organs. <laughs> and as they run together, they say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just freaking run out of there he's like what type of cursed spirit is that you don't have a second thing down there do you <laughs> and so apparently this joint's called the flatwoods monster which i mean hey, what the freak is that it was first sighted in an american town called flatwoods and in japan it's been seen in yamayashi prefecture and they describe it as being a three meter tall alien in other words spirits and aliens may have some common points of commonality then it's buddies with yesterday Today's aliens those stubborn jerks if we don't do something about them soon this poison mist will kill us. but keeping your curse in check means i can't
can't use my abilities very well. All right, so right here, Oka runs like, I'll fight it. Please let the curse loose. He's like, what? Where is this coming from? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid of aliens. Would you be able to release the curse in my body but suppress it in my head? Doom. Our whole freaking house just freaking gets shut down and all this stuff falls down and they just yell. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so Momo right here is like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Since when can I suppress the powers but it's not only in your head? And Oka runs like, bro, give me a chance. I just might be able to control Granny's powers. And here she goes. She gives him some power and he starts flaming up. <laughs> And this is when the aliens like give them to me. And oh man, and here's when he starts to awaken and boom. Yo, this joint looks freaking crazy. Oh my god. I'm overflowing with the power. I'm like Goku right now, but I'm so depressed. And so basically she's like knocked out his whole personality. Yo, why are you talking like that? Oops, I'm sorry. It's because I'm an awkward fellow. Jolt! She's like, bro, I told you not to say that. <laughs> And so, yeah, bro just walks off and he's like, all right, bye bye. I'm out of here. And she's like, you idiot, watch where you're going. Boom, you just get slapped. But as we can see from Momo's soft expression, bro is a god. <laughs> Damn, he got his whole finger in his mouth and Momo starts hyping him up. She's like, that was so fast. How'd you do that? Incredible. At this rate, you might just pull it off. Blorg, jeepers, what is in my stomach? And she's like, huh? Whoa, 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 what's going on? And then bro just gets knocked out and bro is sending crazy kicks. He's sending freaking haymakers at him. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at what he did to him. Had him flying like a freaking torpedo. And he's like, forgive me, Miss I escape. <coughs> My body can't keep up with the power of the curse. I feel like I'm going to burst into pieces and fly apart. Humans aren't meant to move that fast. All right, so here's where Momo realizes, wait a second. He's doing sumo. That means if we can get his hands to touch the ground, does that mean we win? And that's when Okarun says, Miss Ayasuke, are you a genius? Yes, I am. But not more than you fine then one more time and that's my limit and so they go for an attack one more time he's about to go for his legs and knock him down <laughs> bro and bro says some give me your organs and oh my god look at how fast this man is oh dang just knocks out his whole leg and here's where momo says curve uncle runs curse with my right hand and with my left hand hiya you pain in the butt bro momo's so goofy with it i love it and then boom his whole hand falls into the whole ground that joint actually melted. I didn't even notice that. I thought it fell into the ground. But as you can see, he is not topped out just yet. And she's like, no way. Miss Aizuke, run. <laughs> then she just gets freaking ground. Look at her, bro. <laughs> How stiff she looks looks hilarious. Oh, damn. He's like, Miss Aizuke, no. Damn, he did her dirty. <laughs> now that Momo's gone, Turbo Granny just taking over. But actually, Turbo Granny didn't take over for some reason. Oh, damn. Even on the brink of death, Momo's still looking after Okaron. <laughs> Wait, I almost missed that. <laughs> right here, she says, your hand touched the ground, you cheating son of a bitch. But however... <laughs> They really thought that if his hand touched the ground, he would just walk away and leave. His hand didn't even melt. It just got stuck into the ground. I don't let anyone get away with cheating. What? What are you talking about? You really pissed me off. You alien small frog. Boom, 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 boom. Body. And he's like, please let my curse loose. Miss I say, please. Not my only friend. But here's where Momo says, no, it's cool. Because now I'm at just the right depth. From here, I'm outside the Tori. Which means she can pull Ogre on to safety where he won't burn up. Boom. And he just starts blazing, bro. And then here's where we get this, you know, this, this shot's actually pretty cute. Look at that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, ah, finally. Where the hell's my grandma at? Where's she at when I need her? It's back to normal. Okarun, we made it. Okarun, it's back to normal. Look. Oh, I see. <gasps> I thought we were goners. Ack, Miss I see the curse, the curse. Bro, I can't take these guys serious. What the? Did you change your hair again? I kind of dig it and hey i do agree bro bro looks so much cooler now and here's where momo is like whoa i feel kind of dizzy oh no 
boom, she just falls over. And Oka runs like, yo, wake up, it's high say. And that's when Turbo Granny just comes out looking all crazy as hell. All right, so this page sends us into another scene. And this dude's like, your age is 27. And this guy's like, I'm 20. Your favorite food is curry. It's ramen, actually. You have a wife and a child. I live alone. And so basically, it's just like a spirit dude that's just getting absolutely roasted. And it's not predicting this guy at all. And so now we cut back to Granny. Oh my god, what the freak? She just randomly gets lit up. My, my, my. In here, I thought you'd bring another trash boy home. Turns out he's not even human, is he? Truly, my granddaughter brings me nothing but trouble. Damn. And here is her grandma smoking a shit. She has a whole, whole freaking baseball bat. Also, by the way, this is her grandma, but she looks like she's literally in her 20s. All right, so Turbo Granny's moving so fast, you can't even see her. So Momo Granny's like, huh? And then boom. He's like, oh, what the heck? I even know where you were. And that's when Turbo Granny's like, yeah, yeah, this is a walk in the park. You walked right into the trap I set up. And right now she got a freaking circle. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Does it say the power? of Nessie. All right. Anyways, her baseball bat is a baseball bat pencil. <laughs> Look at her face. He's like, ah, where this long at? <laughs> Look, I was exactly right. Look at her freaking face. I'm going to eat you alive. You can't keep me trapped in here forever. And that's when grandma's like, I don't want to keep you trapped. I want to murder your ass. God damn. So she just hits him with a baseball bat. <laughs> He says, hi -ya. He's like, come on, come on. Let's stand your ground. What's the matter? Guess you can't use that speed you're so proud of now, huh? Damn, you dirty old hag. One granny calling another granny an old dirty hag? You make me sick. I'll have you know that I'm known for my bewitching beauty. If you burn me up, this boy of curse will die too. I'll murder every scumbag that tries to seduce my granddaughter, even if they're human. Bye now. You dirty old hag. Well, you heard it there. RP that man, Okaran. Man's dead into the dirt. All right, so now we cut to I. I say, aka Momo. She's like, what the? Where's Okaran? Dun, 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 dun. Okaran, we have the house all to ourselves? Grandma. <laughs> Keep it down. I'm watching Bakatono right now. Did you go to a haunted spot? Exclamation mark. No. So I know she's like, I did. Well, not me, but a friend. What for? What for? We were just talking, and then one thing just went led to another. And then he got his slong stolen. Speaking of, did you see a boy around? If I don't stay near him, there'll be real trouble. <laughs> and then grandma's not even freaking listening, bro. She just over here watching her TV show. And then granny is like, hey, if we're talking about that evil spirit, I killed it dead. Huh? What did this evil spirit look like? Was it wearing glasses? Did it have no slong? And right here, the grandma's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you didn't like spirits and stuff. Plus, I'm a phony spirit medium, remember? Damn. All right, so right now, Agusa is not playing around right now. Look at that fist, bro. Even grandma had to take a second glance at her. Grandma, I'm so sorry. Please tell me what happened to the evil spirit. Go to the shrine and see. Yo, Momo's pushed up real quick, bro. <laughs> Damn! All right, so she's still in. Oh God! Oh God! <gasps> we didn't even get the kiss. Yeah. I didn't want to let the opportunity slip away. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Okarun. Oh my god. And then we just cut to this man just freaking eating some rice. Why you look like a freaking baby? <laughs> look at his freaking feet. Momo's like, oh wow. He may be dickless, but he's cute. And yeah, they have a little bonding moment, you know, you know. And then boom, Momo just slams the door. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Th this is an overload on cuteness. Please stop. And then she just calls him a four-eyed freak. And he's like, eh, what's your deal? And she hits him with the ah, this is so annoying. He's so cute. And oh man, look at her getting shocked over nothing. <laughs> look at the way the granny looks, bro. All right, so right here, she's like, I have psychic powers now. What the heck are you talking about? I went to this place where I was about to get probed and then yada yada, now I got powers. And then granny just takes a full stop at the UFO part. <laughs> she's like, bro, that turbo granny though, you've gotten yourself mixed up with a real pain in the ass. I'll tell you what, in the old days, she was called the 100 kilometer granny who wrecked havoc all over the country you know what a spirit bound is it's a spirit that remains in a particular place it has a strong connection to they're pretty much the strongest in their territory there ain't a spirit medium alive who stands a chance against a bound spirit do you understand what i'm getting at turbo granny and that bound spirit have combined into one they all freaking got an ear for a toe bro this joint look like this joint look you look happy bro look, look at the freaking arms do you guys see what i see like i see this is the body right here and then you see the arms and i see this <laughs> this smile face he's like we <laughs> and so yeah grandma's like don't get mixed up with it 
I don't want to go losing my precious grandchild. Momo's like, exclamation mark. I wonder what my beloved Ken Takakura would do in this situation. Whenever I'm at a loss, that's the question I ask myself. And it's never steered me wrong. And I know Ken Takakura would 100% do something to help. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Your beloved Ken. Oh, so you do love that punk, huh? God. No, you've got it all wrong. I'm not talking about that, Ken. Hey, in there. She's confessing her love. How you feel about that? I told you you got it all wrong. I met the actor. Well, if you feel that strongly, so be it. Let's play a little tech with this turbo granny. Challenger. She's confident in her speed, so she'll short accept. The problem is what comes next. So you two will have to run like your lives depend on it. The bound spirits territory is Shono City. You need to lure Turbo Grammy outside the city limits without getting caught. So yeah, as you can see, they're trying to challenge Turbo Granny. And that's just a horrible idea. Turbo Granny's gonna slubble on their slong. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Look at these little legs. Look at these little legs. Look at them. Look at them. Ain't no way I'm playing tag with Turbo Granny. There must be another way. Grandma's like, no can do. To start with, I can't help you. You sucked. <laughs> and then Momo, yeah, I told you guys, Momo's favorite word is, huh? <laughs> Your grandma's kind of hot, huh? <laughs> Oh man, do you guys see this panel right here? But yeah, basically Oka runs, you know, apologizing here. I'm gonna give him my all so that the next time something like that happens, I'll be able to help you. <laughs> I don't want you to be disappointed in me. Uh, please don't stop being my friend. I'm not disappointed in you. You're overthinking things again. Well then, why'd you slap the door in my face? Well, uh... That was... See, I knew it. You are disappointed in me. I'm telling you, that's not it. But now I am. You're such a pain. Sorry. Oh, man. As you can see, she calls him pretty cool. She's like, I'll probably end up saving you next time, too. You can sleep in there tonight. I'll go get you a futon. And bro, look at her, dude. Look at look at that pose. Look at look at, the, look at her pose. Whoop, whoop, whoop. She is in love. Miss Aizuke. Um, uh, I, uh... <laughs> I'm real thirsty. Could you please give me some water? <laughs> oh my god, look at the grandma, bro. <laughs> he is cooling. Oh, and it turns out that guy from earlier is on the TV. Also, he's not actually 20, but 27. Furthermore, he has yet to file marriage registrations with his partner. Dang, bro. She can literally mind read people. Crazy. All right, so this page starts out with him going, I say. And this is when Memo says, uh oh. Okuran needs to use a John. Huff, 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 tom, 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 tom. Then go. But we've got a big problem here. If something obstructs the view of him, then the suppressed curse breaks free, which means I gotta watch him do his business then watch bro loki i feel so bad for ogre run this is a very sad situation all right so right here we get a quick explanation on how momo's powers work and basically she sees like an aura around people and then she can just grab them and seize control over it so right here she says close your eyes you're relying on your eyesight too much if you can grab auras then you can feel them she's like feel the aura with your skin it's cold now shut your eyes and slowly reach out and feel <laughs> How am I doing? Well, he's transforming. Miss Isaac! Yeah, so all that joint did not work at all. The grandma's like, what now, Momo? He's gonna fill his drawers. You're the one who suggested this. I don't want anyone watching me poop. Hey, I agree with that, bro. Oh my god. Ah, I feel bad for him, bro. <laughs> what the freak is going on here? Momo's out here just playing defense, protecting the freaking toilet. In this house, no one runs faster than me. Out of the way, there's gonna be a mess. You're pretty tough, Kent Takakura. <laughs> Yo, she called him slow earlier, and then he outruns her. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so sad. <laughs> bro, he should have just got a diaper. <laughs> Sigh, nah. At least some music. Come on, bro. I've always craved a paranormal encounter, like getting abducted by aliens. Craved? But this is awful. I just want this curse to end. This is so sad, man. I actually feel really bad for him. But yeah, right here, Grandma's like, hey, you got some more training to do, little girl. And right here, Momo's like, huh? Grandma, your nose is bleeding. Did you hit it earlier when? Boom! Freaking Batman shows up. And this panel looks sick. And this is when Momo's like, Grandma, she's there. Turbo Granny appeared. Grandma. Grandma? Boom! She's dead. Like, not. Nah, <laughs> she's probably still alive. All right, but Turbo Granny is like, it's no use. This is a mere shadow grandma what are you doing to my grandma heart attack or cerebral infraction you may choose her cause of death my curse is transmittable through this brat i can curse at death whomever he sees do not take me lightly i will not grant you more time come to the tunnel tonight if you don't i will use this brat to begin killing indiscriminately tonight 
understand. And Okoron's like, what the freak? My nose. Your ears are bleeding, Grandma. Your ears. And so, yeah, we get a scene cut. I thought Momo had a freaking long candle hat. I was like, what the heck? Yeah, basically, they dripped out right now, bro. They dripped out. Look at, bro, look at Okoron's shoes. I might give me them myself. But yeah, right here, the grandma is basically like, there's a good chance you guys are about to get rocked. Be careful. Then Momo says, you may look hapless, but we've defeated aliens. Aliens don't exist. Stop joking around. Uh, okay. Your loosey goosey attitude is why you always get in trouble. You've never listened to me. No, give me a break. I hate it when you nag. Let's go, Oak Run. Momo. Still going. Let me give you a hug, sweetie. <laughs> Oh my god, I freaking love you. Don't you die on me. You still haven't kissed Okarun yet. And then they ride their bike off into the distance. <laughs> Alright, so they take the train, bro. God dang, this train looks hella detailed. Oh damn, Momo's getting serious. That cursed spirit tried to hurt someone I cared about. And I'm gonna kick her ass. <laughs> the next chapter is called Kicking Turbo Granny's Ass. Alright, but they're still in the train, right? And right here, Okarun's like, Miss Ayazaka, you can't do that here. And Momo's like, I need to get out of this outfit. This outfit's trash. As her grandma said it was a bulletproof vest and she's like who would ever wear that girl's combat gear is her style if i can't wear what i want to i can't get hyped up <laughs> sounds like the words of a dead man all right let's do this oh Grun, you first i believe it's ladies first actually but look at my tear-filled eyes <laughs> Hey, that's what I would say, bro. Let's go side by side, bro. <laughs> this would literally be me. Whoop. On they go then. Bro, Momo already freaking forgot the plan, bro. He's like, so we're punching Turbo Granny? No, we got to lead her outside of Shono City. We have to separate her from the local bound spirit. Then she'll weaken and we can defeat her. Oh, right, right. But we did beat those big aliens. So maybe we can beat her here. If I recall, you were terrified. But after such a big opponent, how bad can one old lady be? Oh my God. God. She's huge. What should we do, Miss Isaac? Calm yourself down. You said yourself. We get her outside the city, so we gotta skedaddle. Yeah. Yeah. I want them tall. Give me the tall, boy. Oh my! What the freak is going on here? No way. Is she for real? He's coming this way. Give me those. I'll handle this. In the power of Nessie, take that. Pew. Chomp, 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 chomp. Jeepers creepers. Her eyes are mouths. Gross. Miss Eyes to gave release my curse. I'll handle it somehow. All right. I'm counting on you. Okay, I'll do my best. Or maybe not. I don't think I can do this. I'm no use at all. All right. I forgot you're a total downer when you transform. But I'll cheer on for you. So go on. The pressure will kill me. Oh, man. He turned back to normal. Oh, run. The power of the curse is gone. I've returned to Slong, so the curse disappeared. Oh, my God. It's getting crazy in this joint. Oh, damn. And here we get a flashback. Challenger. She's confident in her speed, so she's sure to accept. Are you afraid of losing a battle of speed? Get the lines in here. Get the lines in here. Using brute force is embarrassing. Isn't your name Turbo Granny? Surely you won't refuse a race. If you're so turbo, then act like it. Let's see who's faster. Damn it. So they're still stopped. They're like, <laughs> bro, they got their freaking jaw dropped. They're like, what the hell? Oh, it turned back to normal instantly. No, bro, they got her. They got Turbo Grammy pissed off. Therefore, I accept your challenge. I can eat you two anytime. Next two mission mark. What are the rules? Where's the finish line? Thumbs up, Oka Run. Thumbs up, thumbs up. There is no finish line. We're going to play tag. If you catch us, you win. Simple, right? When we begin, count out 10 minutes to give us a head start. That's the rule, so you must obey. If you don't, you'll ruin the legend of Turbo Granny. Very well. <laughs> oh, damn. She's... She's falling for it. Okay, begin. Run, Okran, run. Wow, I thought we were goners. <laughs> we just got the granny count in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. If you guys don't remember earlier, he says, You're a genius, Miss Isaac. And then that was when the freaking sumo wrestler didn't die when he fell on his hands. What the? She's counting weird. 10, 12, 1 minute, 3 minutes, 5 minutes. Oh, God. <laughs> Miss Isaac. Miss Ayazuke. Oh, Karan. Her 10 minutes have passed. And now I'll count 10 minutes for you. You said you'd obey the rules. I agreed to count out 10 minutes. I never said how. I will count them. No get off. Stop counting. 3 minutes, 31, 46, 52. Bro, what the freak is that face? Let me get a zoom in on that. Oh, my God. Bro, she's such a cheater. Now I caught you. You're a real oaf, Okaran. And I'll probably end up saving you next time, too. All right, so you know how Momo took off her bulletproof vest? Well, since Okaran 
Pokemon has it on? Turbo Granny is having trouble harming him. It's used force to repossess him. And guys, look at this. Look at her, bro. She's dripped out right now. <laughs> the freaking glasses make it look so shit. I'll eat the girl and end it. Nani? Why am I losing control of my body? It feels like somebody's strangling me. Who don't dare just to be who played the wrong trick on me? I understand now. I can't see it, but I fully understand. Question mark, Okaron. What's inside you right now is no longer a faint blue flame. Because Turbo Granny's main form is there. Now I understand. Clearly and by touch. Blast you on hand me. Don't make me call you the N-word. Boom. The rock surrounding Momo has been broken. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Isaac. Same here. Good job, Okaron. Hey, let me out of this kid. Yeah. Now that we've got you, what should we do with you? Return her. Give me back my hubby. It's cool, Mission Mark. Oh my god, what is that? What the freak is going on? Yeah. Bound spirit killed him. <laughs> Look at Momo hopping the freaking fence. All right, so right here, they're running. <sighs> Okaron, I think we outran them. <laughs> Freaking big old crab just comes out the cut. Crab! All right, so he's like, why is the bounce spear a crab? What the freak? <laughs> Look at the freaking grandma. Bro, she's like, over here, over here. Which way are you looking, fool? Bro is freaking attacking nothing. You gotta transform. Damn it, you hag. Hold still. Don't you talk to me like that. Hurry, Miss Ayusuke. This isn't easy, you know. Unlike before, you've got Turtle Grammy's true form inside you now. Oh, man, here comes a crab. Boom. Oh, my God. That was close. This is super serious. Curse you. Don't use my powers without me. Let me go. Cool. Physical contact easier. This is crazy, Momo. Hey, don't use my first name. You're too heavy, Momo. I can't turn. For real? <laughs> And this is when Oka runs like, all right, now I'm about to get serious. And bro just starts turning into a helicopter. Even Momo was like, whoa, that's pretty cute. Boom. <laughs> I can't take no more. The god don't weigh me down. Are you okay, Oka run? I'm getting totally bummed. You let me land on you. Sorry, but thanks. I already got serious once, so. Oh, right. You can only use your full strength twice. But thanks to that shortcut, we may have opened up some distance. <laughs> Momo's the best at jinxing stuff. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, it's got faces all over his back. Oh my god. Bro's like piggyback ride for real. Haha, <laughs> that's dedication. Freaking meanwhile, freaking crab. Look, look, what the freak? Where is bro looking at? Where is he looking at? Wait. What the freak? Okay, anyways, Momo's like, this is so embarrassing. He's like, crap, there are people here. There are people here. And that's when it turns out no one can see the crab. Momo, the god's starting to weigh me down. No way. Keep going. Get serious again. Even if I could, it's too far. We can't get outside of Shono City. It'll catch up and eat us. Um, no thanks. Crabs don't eat me. I eat crab. Exclamation mark. Aw. Oh, yeah. I think Momo's cooking up another big brain play. Welcome. How many? Boom, I already knew that joint was gonna happen, bro. Go upstairs, it should be too cramped for it to follow us. Nope, guess not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not the freaking bad thousand. This is horrible, Momo. Don't you know water is a crab's natural environment? Water is water. But the water here is from a hot spring. When you boil crabs, the meat gets firm. And that means the muscle fiber stiffens. Damn, bro. What? He knows what a fiber is? Anyways, the muscle fiber stiffens. They'll make it hard to move. Woohoo! It stopped moving. It isn't moving. We boiled it. It's turned red. It now looks... <laughs> bro, I, I can't freaking read her, bro. She scares me, bro. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. Now we've got a straight shot out of the city. Um, are there fewer people now? Uh, yeah. What's that? Oh my god. What the freak happened, bro? <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. What's with them? You fools, you won't get away easily. There's a big old cemetery on the edge of the city right there. My big baby was buried there. Oh my god. Turbo Granny is still cheating. Momo, be the bait for me, please. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Here's when they're starting to get mad serious. This is so depressing. You're goners. After this, you'll be immobilized. Just do it. And Okaron's just dooming, bro. Bro just passes everybody. And then, boom, they just slide and hit the ground. I feel like my body's ripping a butt. Stand up, Okaron. We're almost there. Uh, Turbo Granny. I let go of her. You did? Oh my god, this is so bad. Damn, they're just getting jumped by Turbo Granny. I will not forgive your tricks, but what bothers me the most is your lack of respect for the elders. Actually, you're pretty amazing. I've never seen an old bag bully kids this 
<laughs> so mad respect to you. Speak properly, girl. I see through your double talk. Bro, look at her. <laughs> I almost missed that. What the freak? I hate such casual speech, and I hate annoying press like you. What a freaking bitch you are. Oh, what the freak is going on here? What the heck is that? I'll put your clothes off and plug off your lens, but I'll wait until you run for, oh, uh, about 10 or 20 minutes. Actually, give me one second. Exclamation mark. My ability allows me to grab stuff. Oh, my God. Momo with yet another 100 IQ play. The Takakashi line's top speed is 120 kilometers per hour. So, if she can only go 100 kilometers per hour, she'll never catch up. Oh, trains don't always go top speed. They slow down on the curves. I, on the other hand, maintain 100 millimeter per hour. I'm the fastest old lady ever, so you can't escape. You can't escape me? That's my line. <laughs> like Grandma said, you'd be sure to accept the challenge. Now that you're on board, these rails will lead you straight to your defeat. Straight into Kamikosho City. You shitty foul pig, bitch. Let go of me. You're definitely fast, old bag. That you've lived this long is proof that no one could beat you. But the winner of this fight is me. Boom. Oh. Oh my god a double spread it just looks absolutely beautiful and here we get to see as turbo granny burns up we get to see all the lost children that died to turbo granny just fall out of her mouth and they finally get to become free and mom was like what the hell i wasn't trying to save you guys but anyways grandma bro the grandma looking cool as always and right here they just pray for all the little kids that were lost i didn't want to get rough with her this place was a scene of multiple murders the killer attacked girls like you assaulted them cut them up and scattered their body parts those girls had no desire to become evil spirits we mediums have always long hunted turbo granny and every encounter had one thing in common she always appeared near the spirits of girls who died horrific deaths i suspect she was visiting places where girls can't pass it after life so she could counsel them but the dead must never attack the living so force is necessary to send them off to the other side i'm glad you aren't hurt all right, so right now, all three of them are hanging out, and they're going crazy right now. Damn it, Granny. You're taking all the big pieces. Give me the crab, or I'll break all your Bakunoto DVD. Go ahead. I'll set fire to all your Ken Tugakura crap. Oka runs like, dog. <laughs> um, I'm not hungry, so if you want mine... Only a loser doesn't eat crab. Animal. Well, normally I would. But how can you eat after all that happened? What would you prefer to eat? Picky McPickles? I'm not talking to you anymore. Boy, shit and wine. Do you even have a thing? Yes. Thank you for helping me get it back. Show me. Show you what? Show me you actually got one. Um, are you kidding? <laughs> Uh, what the freak? Stop, are you crazy? Miss Icegate, do something? Nom, 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 nom. Delicioso. Hold still, you little. This house is bonkers. <laughs> Thanks for everything. It's late, so be careful. Tense kisses. Anywhere is safer than here. Next time, you won't get away. I'll never show you. Never mind her. She's not serious. She's not really a predator. You didn't have an appetite, so she was just trying to cheer you up. Oh, really? Then I should have been more considerate. Not. Anyway, goodbye. Okay, bye. Goodbye. 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 Oh, Karan. See you tomorrow. Oh my God. Saying hi is no big deal. After all, I practice all night. I got this. Morning, Bakamura. <laughs> How's it going? I can't let her know that I'm new at this. <gasps> Uh, no way. We hung out a bit, but she's waiting for me at the gate. She's probably waiting for somebody else. I shouldn't get in their way. I'll just pass her in. Boom. What took you so long? Let's go. And the chapter ends off beautifully there. If you guys haven't read this manga, please just read all of it. It is consistently amazing. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out Donadon or else Turbo Granny's gonna go with us long.